ShowtimeTV.com. You know, I had the, the personal blog where I talked about the um the loaded lux and um calico that I talked about the murder moon and I.S. Oliver. So I didn't get a chance to watch the Hitman Holler joint until now. So I watched Hitman Holler versus John John the Dawn. Now um Hitman Holler did what he did, you know, he came, threw his jabs or whatever the case may be. He held it down in New York. You know, I give him respect for that. But John John the Dawn was hungry. That man was hungry, he was starving. And when I tell you he was jabbing, he was jabbing, he was boxing, he was on his Zeb Zuda type shit. You know what I'm saying? With his blows and all that. So I definitely was feeling John John the Dawn that night. I feel like he took his career to, a, to another little level. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to Hitman. You know what I'm saying? Not taking nothing from Hitman, but at the end of the day, John John the Dawn did what he had to do that night. So, Showtime was like, just basically saying, you know, Hitman had his little one tools in there, but John John did it a little bit, a little bit better from my perspective. A little bit better. You know what I'm saying? But they both had rounds that was kind of crazy. Now, what I want to talk about what was what was kind of crazy to me. I just watched it two days ago, you know, because I'd be, you know, back and forth in, in between the states or like it's wherever I'd be at. You know, I had so many things going on. You know, I did make it to the Jay Z um, after party thing. You know, after the Barclays performance, I did do that. You know, what I'm saying the Mob Wives was there. You know, Karen. Karen Gravana, Gravana, um, what's her name, um, Ramona Rizzo, you know, so I definitely was doing, I was doing, where were you at? DNA versus <laughs> Ines. DNA and Ines, now that battle was kind of crazy. DNA was doing his thing, like he came ready, he was hungry like a ravaged lion, like he was ready. Like everything he had to say, it was on point. Ines, you know what I'm saying, he's doing what he had to do. He had his bars in there, but at the end of the day, I just feel like that man was distracted. He came up upset or something like that. He was throwing jabs at the crowd. He was throwing jabs at Smack. He was throwing jabs at just everybody who was in the building. You know, Puff was in the building, so I guess he probably felt uncomfortable about Puff being in the building. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what his situation is with Bad Boy. You know, not to take nothing from Enes. You know, he do what he do. He an MC. You know, he had some lines in there that was... Okay, but I just feel like DNA came off that night. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared to say my opinion on who I thought won. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 not going to happen here. Like, I'm going to let you know how I felt. I felt like Enes, you know, did what he did, but he was kind of distracted. You know, DNA was going in. Like, he was like, look, hold up. He wasn't even caring about the extra bullshit. He was like, hold on. He was ready to get in that ring and do what he had to do. Ness looked like he was just frustrated, like he was upset. You know what I'm saying? He's worried about anybody else, whether than worrying about DNA. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm a fan of Ness. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I got the band album. Don't get it twisted. The band album is hot. I'm feeling it. It's hot. It's a hot album. He got a hot song with Sarah Stokes on there. You know what I'm saying? I liked his battle with Jay Mills. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a fan of that. So, you know, at the end of the day, watching this as a fan, I just want Elliot Ness to perform. Just, just do what you do. Stop worrying about the crowd hating. Stop worrying about um what everybody else is doing. Just, just get in there and do what you gotta do. You know, DNA was directly you. You over here worrying about everything else, but DNA is just hitting you hard with the hitting you like he mashing on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it was that bad, but at the end of the day, he made his presence felt. You know, and I kind of was like, mm, I'm gonna get that one to DNA. You know what I'm saying? Um. I never met DNA and, you know, pretty soon, you know, I reach out to him and just get his perspective on what he thought the battle was like, but that's what I thought. I thought it was crazy, man. It was, it was hilarious. It was like a circus, man. You know what I'm saying? So, that's my thoughts on the um, DNA and the Enes battle and the um, John John and Dawn versus Hitman and Holla. You know, it seemed like the underdogs, so the so-called underdogs, came up on top and did what they did. You know what I'm saying? That's the Showtime TV and the Showtime Perspectives. You can check us out. You know, no battle league coming. You know, Showtime TV, 100 promotions. You want to do what we do, but you want to show y'all what it is. When we bring new 
fresh talent to the forefront, that new blood that's real hungry and it really starving. You know what I'm saying? Smack, keep doing what you're doing. I like what you're doing. Shout out to Cortez, you an animal. Shout out to D Chambers, I just saw that man in Brooklyn, Coney Island Warrior. He doing what he doing. Just chopped it up with Head Ice the other day. You know what I'm saying? On the Jack, me and him is cool. We doing what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Team Wolf is on deck. Um, everything is looking real wavy right now. So, you know, sign it off. ShowtimeTV.com. 100 promotions. Check it out. I'm going to have some footage on that on that site too. And check out my official View Me. That's V U M E E dot com. Official celebrity site where it's only exclusive celebrity footage and tweeted by celebrities only. So um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm doing what I'm doing. So what are you doing?